Welcome to the very first High Voltage Rockcast, the new twice weekly podcast from me, John Latimer, presenter of High Voltage Rock Show, which goes out on Cam Glen Radio every Wednesday from 10pm to midnight. This podcast will go on YouTube and Mixcloud. For YouTube viewers, you will be treated to gameplay of some of my favourite games in each episode, which I have lovingly played, recorded and edited together. So it's a kind of combined gaming walkthrough as well as a podcast. I'll be playing through some of my favourite games in each and every episode, so you will see the game from start to finish where you listen to me rabbit on about rock music. Then we move on to another game. So we'll have everything from classic point and click adventures to modern greats such as Red Dead Redemption, uh, Grand Theft Auto, that sort of thing. More on that later. For the mixed cloud listener, we, well, obviously you won't experience the gameplay, but you'll still get all the chat. Plus, mixed cloud listeners hopefully will get the added bonus of some great music along the way. So there is an advantage to listening to the mixed cloud version and watching the YouTube version. Listen to both um, if you like, or listen to both if you like, or choose one or the other choice is yours. I thought long and hard about this. I've been thinking a long time the best way to combine my passion of gaming and music and I think this is a solution. I've never really seen this done before either so I'm hoping this is quite a unique and different idea. So a bit about what to expect from these podcasts um, then a bit about the game I'm playing and then I'll get on with it. So what can you expect? Well this podcast will get on Mondays and Fridays. On Monday uh, I'll chat a bit about what's come up this uh, on this week's High Voltage show. I have rock music and upcoming gig news, some new wave of classic rock and hard rock chat and a classic album review. On Friday's edition, I'll be bringing you a top 10 feature. So that could be top 10 rock albums, top 10 band specific albums, that sort of thing. Uh, I'll be chatting metal and alternative, um, what I've been listening to this week. Plus what I like to call non-rock chat, so that will be me basically waffling on about television, films, gaming, football, whatever else tickles my fancy. No doubt as we progress, more features will be added. Uh, I'd like it to be quite interactive, so hopefully we'll have listeners, shout-outs, contributions and such like. Okay, so with that said, welcome to Monday's edition, and before I get into the rock stuff, a word about the game I'm playing. For the benefit of the benefit of the YouTube viewers, this is the Secret of Monkey Island, uh, Lucas Arts Point and Click Adventure, released in October 1990. It came out for multiple platforms, but for me, the Ultimate Edition was on the Commodore and Amiga. That's the version that I first played. The version you're looking at now is the Special Edition, uh, playing on the Xbox 360. This also got released on Windows, Mac, PlayStation 3, and iOS. Enjoy the gameplay while I chat, and you can see this from start to finish as the weeks go on. The footage has already been recorded. Okay, so I'll start this podcast off now, talking about what's coming up on this week's High Voltage Show, which will air on Cam Glen Radio on Wednesday, the 1st of April 2020, from 10pm to midnight. The show was extended to two hours just a few weeks ago, which gives me the opportunity to play more music and feature more interviews. We're in a bit of a strange time, as you all know, with all this coronavirus stuff going on. We're basically in lockdown, and as you can imagine, the radio station is closed, but thankfully, I've still got the means, as have many uh, of my fellow presenters, uh, to record the show from my home. I'm also able to conduct interviews from home on Skype, uh, and as such, I've got two great interviews coming up this week on High Voltage. I've interviewed Irish guitarist Pablo Davila and Paradise Lost singer Nick Holmes. In the first hour, I'll have new music from Chasing the Train, Heavy Petting and Deep Purple. In hour two, I've got those interviews with Pablo and Nick, as I mentioned, plus I'll be playing songs from both those bands. Plus, lots more stuff. It's going to be a cracker. Remember, it's 107.9 FM in Camas Land, rural Glen, and surrounding areas, including Glasgow. But if you can't listen locally, then you can get it worldwide on camglenradio.org forward slash live and on TuneIn Radio app, which you can download on iOS, Android, Xbox, and more. If you miss it, I also upload it on Mixcloud every week as well, so there's plenty of ways to listen in. 
While I'm at it, I should also let you know where to find the show on social media. You can find the show on Facebook, just search for High Voltage 107.9. You can also find the show on Instagram and Twitter by searching for High Voltage 107.9. I'll put the links on the YouTube video as well. Time for this week's rock news, and as you can imagine, a lot of things are on hold due to COVID-19, but there is still plenty going on. We've got new releases from classic bands, for example, Deep Purple and Heavy Petten, who have both got new music out, or coming out, both of which you can hear on this week's show, incidentally. Deep Purple just released their new single on Friday, 27th of March. The single is called Throw My Bones, and it's the first single from their upcoming studio album, Wish. Wish is their 21st studio album, and the song Throw My Bones was written by Ian Gillen, Ian Pace, Roger Glover, Don Airy, Steve Morse and Bob Ezrin. Deep Purple is putting the deep back into purple was a half joking motto in the studio <coughs> excuse me, after the first songs made it clear that Ezrin and Purple were on a path to creating an album pushing the boundaries of time. Whilst voicing their resentment about the current situation of the world and addressing all generations. Uh, Wish is set for release on June the 12th, 2020 on EA Music. It will be available or, uh, or as I should say, a limited CD plus DVD media book, including the one hour feature Roger Glover and Bob Ezrin in conversation. And for the first time, the full line performance at Hellfest 2017. There will also be a 2 LP plus DVD edition, limited box set and digital as well. The box set will contain the 2 LP gatefold, the CD and DVD media book, 3 10 inch vinyls containing previously unreleased live recordings from Deep Purple's performance in Rio in 2017, the Infinite Live Recordings Volume 2 and exclusive Deep Purple Collectors t-shirt and free art prints. They're scheduled to go on tour as well. It doesn't kick off until October, so hopefully it'll be okay. All going well, they are playing up here in Glasgow on the 5th of October 2020 at the Hydro. Heavy Petten, meanwhile, released a new EP on Valentine's Day, and you can hear a track from this on this week's show as well. Now, during this COVID-19 crisis, and with everyone self-isolating and social distancing, you may have noticed, if you're on social media, a lot of live in your living room type things popping up. There's been lots of good ones, and uh, I suppose that is a great puzzle to come out of all this. One such event was iHeart's Living Room Concert for America. The show featured great acoustic performances from Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters, um, and Billy Armstrong of Green Day. Now, Grohl performed My Hero, uh, and then recommended sending the last chorus while washing your hands and Armstrong upon Boulevard of Broken Dreams with guest appearances from his dogs. I know just from looking at my Facebook feed there's been a lot of these things happening, for example Mike Peters from the Lamb done one, uh, something along these lines as well on his Facebook page. And coming up this weekend we have uh, the New Wave of Classic Rocks webfest featuring the best in New Wave of Classic Rock bands. So the coronavirus may be denying us our live gigs, but the spirit of the rock community is amazing and people are improvising and still ready to entertain us. Um, so great stuff. Talking about New Wave of Classic Rock, it's time to move on to the New Wave of Classic Rock segment of the podcast. heard the show before, you may have heard me talk about New Wave of Classic Rock. Basically, it's a new genre which has really taken off over the past year or so, and it's a resurgence of great new music which is classic rock in spirit. It's hard rock reborn and it's taken off so much it's actually recognised as a genre. The likes of iTunes and Amazon have recognised it and it was the new genre that really rekindled my love of finding new music. One of the driving forces behind it is a guy called Jeremy Balls. He created the new wave of classic rock Facebook page which now has over 17,000 members and counting. And as a place I've discovered so many good bands. Jeremy has said the band that inspired him to set up the page was Inglorious, a band I also discovered a couple of years ago myself while researching bands to watch the download. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, I've seen them at said download. They were the 
first band on the second stage on the Saturday, if I remember, and uh, and they were they were electric. I discovered so many more on the page, uh, roles such as those damn crows, the new Rosies, Kim Janet, and uh, lots and lots more. Uh, well, it's mostly the hard rock style, new or, new wave of classic rock, also embraces alternative bands such as Hands of Pretto and The Hue. From bands with followers, followers under 100 to bands with tens and even hundreds of thousands, new wave of classic rock has gone from strength to strength. This week I'd like to present the top 5 bands who I think really carry the flag, the flag for the new wave of classic rock in no particular order. We may as well start with Inglourious. Fronted by Nathan James and formed in 2014, they are currently on Frontiers Records and to date have, have, have had three albums, Inglourious, Inglourious 2 and Ride to Nowhere, which was released just last year. They are unashamedly hard rock and Nathan James has, has a fantastic voice. It is no surprise that this band prompted Jeremy to start the new wave of classic rock page. Their signature tune is Breakaway, a fine hard rock tune. Next up, Those Damn Crows, also formed in 2014, fun enough. Uh, they are from Bridge End Wales and are fronted by Shane Greenhall and released their second album, Point of No Return, earlier this year, back in February, the 7th in fact. Uh, the album got to number 14 in the UK album charts, a great achievement. I've been listening to the album this week and uh, we'll feature it, on, feature it on what I'm listening to on the next podcast. This sinister tune, and indeed for me, one of the sinister tunes of the new wave of classic rock, um, is Rock and Roll Ain't Dead. If any song defines new wave of classic rock, it's this one. Next, Bad Touch. A little bit older than the previous two bands, Bad Touch were formed in 2010 and are fronted by Stevie Westwood. They've had three albums and are due to, re- to release their fourth this year. They released a new single from the forthcoming new album a week or so ago. Co- <coughs> go, excuse me, called Strut. <coughs> excuse me, uh, and again, very much all about the hard rock, which is just what I love. Westwood has a fantastic rock voice. The band are from Norfolk and are influenced by the likes of Led Zeppelin and the Planet Crows. The fourth album, Kiss the Sky, is out in June 2020. Their signature tune, I'd say, is Skyman. The fourth pick is Wayward Sons, who released their debut album Ghosts of Yet to Come in 2017 and followed it up with their 2019 album The Truth Ain't What It Used To Be. They are influenced by 1970s glam and 1980s hair metal, two great ingredients as far as I'm concerned. They were formed in 2016 and are fronted by Tony Jepson. Their signature tune is Until The End. And last but no means least, in this list is uh, uh, in the five great new wave of classic uh, rock bands is The Treatment, who also happen to be the oldest band on the list. They were formed back in t- uh, 2008 uh, and are everything I look for in a rock band. Hard rock, heavy guitars, awesome vocals, uh, catchy songs, absolutely amazing band. I've seen them live at Wild Fire Festival a few years back and at Audio a year or so back as well. They are on their fifth album now. Uh, the latest Power Crazy was released uh, just last year in 2019. Their signature, signature tune is Let It Begin. So I'll have plenty of more New Wave of Classic Rock chat next week. Time now to move on to a classic album review. Now I spoke about this album way back in the very first episode of High Voltage, a faultless album by Bon Jovi released in 1986, Slippery When Wet. This was their breakthrough album, the third album following on from the self-titled debut and 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. It was produced by Bruce Fairbairn and mostly written by Joe Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora. It spawned hits You Give Love a Bad Name, Living on a Prayer, What a Dead or Alive and Never Say Goodbye. There's honestly no bad song on this album. All ten songs could have been singles. No album fillers here. The album opens up with Let It Rock, an early signal of intent that this album was going to rock. You Give Love A Bad Name is up next and this was one of the big hits from the album. One uh, one of the all time great Bon Jovi songs and played at every gig. This song rocks and uh, really showcases Rich, Richie Sabora's guitar skills. Living On A Prayer, possibly one of the best known rock songs of all time is next up. Um, always played at family weddings, well, our family weddings anyway. Definitely one of Bon Jovi's most famous hits. 
social disease falls in the gap, more than falls in the gap, uh, before one of their sim- other signature songs, Wanted Dead or Alive. The hits keep on coming with Raise Your Hands, Without Love, I'd Die For You, Never Say Goodbye and Wild In The Streets. Never Say Goodbye is just one of the best rock bands of all time, a great, great tune. For me, this is the best rock album of the 80s. It's 34 years old, 34 years old now, but it's as good now as it was back then. Bon Jovi went on to have more great albums. Uh, in the shape of New Jersey, Keep the Faith and These Days. But for me, kind of lost away from then, but I still have a special place in my heart for the early stuff, even if I don't listen to the newer stuff. So that is uh, that is Slippery When Wet, the, the classic Bon Jovi album, as I say, released back in 1986. And, um, you know, between that and uh, New Jersey, which was um, released, um, I think, 1988, uh, it, was just, it was a golden time for the band, the, the band's most successful era. Uh, they went on a little hiatus, uh, as they called it, uh, before releasing Keep the Faith. Uh, during that time, uh, John Bon Jovi released the, the Blaze of Glory album, which is a brilliant album as well. And uh, Richard Sambora is equally impressive solo album, Strangers in This Town. So that is, uh, that is this week's album review. And uh, that's pretty much it for this week. If you're watching on YouTube, then um, I do have half an hour <laughs> of uh, of Monkey Island footage here, so um, I will leave you with that footage. If you're enjoying the gameplay, um, carry on watching until the end, um, because you need to you need to do that if you're going to watch the next episode. Uh, obviously, the the gameplay carries on from from where this one uh, leaves off so yeah definitely watch to the end and watch the rest of this little uh, first part of the Monkey Island walkthrough um, no, if you're listening on the mixed clouds then um, then that will be the end of it um, part for the uh, song which will probably play from the Slippery Wayne Wet album uh, to leave you with um, but thank you for listening whichever, whichever way you listen to this um, and hopefully uh, we'll go on from strength to strength in the future podcast. Uh, this is the first episode, so bear with me. Uh, we will get there and uh, hopefully make a great success of this. Uh, so we'll see you on Friday. Thanks for listening and remember to listen to High Voltage on Wednesday night at 10pm. Cam Glen Radio 107.9 FM or the Cam Glen Radio website Cam Glen, Cam Glen, Cam forward slash live uh, or tune in radio. Catch you later. in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I cannot do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Top. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Tony. Nerdwell. Scuffler. <clears throat> Say there, son, how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous a feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well known. Fabulous, flying, Ferrucini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is a get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. 
So, what do you say? Okay, I'll do it. We'll pay you 478 pieces of eight. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Put on your helmet. And uh, get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Ah! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? He's all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just a recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! Excuse me, but do... Now it's only you again. Come back for the map for the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? I hope you brought enough money this time. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, I love rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from Fable the Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That's difficult to believe. Yes, but it's true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Saw you buying a map from that fellow over there. Have you looked at it yet? <laughs> Perhaps you should consider an alternate source.
Our maps are top quality, not like the bird caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually <laughs> copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. I'll just be running along now. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. What may I help you with, son? Ah, I sense the guilt of stealing my chicken grows. Take it. It's yours. Why don't you want it? Is it jinxed with an ancient voodoo curse? No. The pulley squeaks. So, my mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see. What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Yeah, and bad things happen to people who sneak up on other people from behind. So... You're going to give me a little attitude, huh? I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. <laughs> 